Hey, what's going on? I've been doing a, a bunch of long videos lately, and I thought it'd be fun to put um, hopefully one that's a little bit shorter together and gives you some sort of instant value um, and not be known as the long video guy because I just feel like every time I'm crunching out a video, um, they get pretty long in length. So with that said, we'll jump right into it. Uh, I've been seeing this uh, this ad for Deep Motion all over uh, the different um, Blender and uh, UE4 Facebook groups that I'm on, and I kind of just discard it. It's a it's a paid uh, paid software that basically takes a 2D animation or this is the claim and turns it into a 3D animation. And I was like, yeah, I bet you it doesn't work that well. And I kind of looked at it again because it kept popping up and I was like, ah, it's paid. It's not for me. And then I saw uh, a couple of individual people on the Facebook group promoting this exact ad. So, you know, I finally broke and I, I checked it out. And then um, I went into their site and I was kind of skeptical because uh, everything I do on this channel is, is free and this is paid. So it's not really in my wheelhouse of what I'm trying to promote in the whole Unreal free ecosphere. Um, but it turns out they do have a free section on this. Um, it's, uh, it's not for commercial use, but um, turns out the tool works really well. And, you know, for nine bucks a month, um, you know, if you pumped out a bunch of, you know, 180 seconds worth of animation, um, there's actually some really good value there. So I could see, you know, people signing up for a month, getting the 180 seconds of animation and being quite happy with that. But anyways, regardless, um, it's a cool tool uh, to play with uh, for free anyways and um, there aren't any hoops to jump through to set up either so i went through this whole rigmarole of, of setting up and it was actually super straightforward they don't ask for any of your payment info they just literally what they're asking for on the screen is all that they want they verify your email and then your account set up and you're good to go so um, that was pretty impressive too of how clean and uh, clear the um uh, the company was too uh, that impressed me um the other thing I'll show you is, so what I did is um, I just basically, I was looking for a 2D rock throwing video. Um, and the reason why is I had this little project that I've been working on where I was trying to get um, uh, a good rock throwing animation. And you can see <laughs> it's sort of my attempts as I've been learning in Blender how to animate with some uh, pretty cool tools there. I'll show those at, a, at another time, but I was slowly sort of getting better at the whole animation process. You can see that last one isn't completely horrible, but I still wasn't there in terms of like a, a production uh, ready animation. This last one though, um, I got from Deep Motion, and from a 2D video, that's pretty great. Um, I think I can clean up, you know, the few pieces that I don't like, I can trim that down, but I'm really impressed with that animation. And that actually was built um, from this tool, uh, from this tool, Deep Motion. Um, and so all that I did in both cases was I just went on YouTube and I typed in <laughs> throw rock, you can see it there. And I found this video um, that I liked. And there was a little piece in here where this guy, um, I think in a couple seconds here, he'll actually just throw out the rock. Yeah, uh, starts here. Let's see, come on buddy, throw your rock. There you go. So that's the piece of animation that I wanted. Um, when I was working in Blender, I actually just wanted it as a reference image. So in Blender, you can put a 2D uh, uh, video file at the back uh, of the software and you can sort of animate over top of it. So that's that's what I was trying to do before. Um, so in any event, I already had that, that video available and downloaded, um, and then I was able to try it out in this tool. So I'll just show you quickly, if you don't know how to get video files off of, um, uh, off of YouTube, it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, just in Google, you type in YouTube to M MP4, and there's this site, yt1s.com. I've used it a bunch of times. Um, uh, it seems pretty safe. I mean, you be the judge on, on your own machine, but um, I use it quite often. And all you have to do is you just have to pull the URL from the YouTube clip, copy it into the section here, and then convert to MP4, and then you just download it. It will download the entire length uh, of the video. I, I didn't really look to see if there's options to shorten the clip. Um, you know, we can take a peek at that. Um, uh, I don't really see anything there. Um, but anyways, so um, that works. You get the download of the MP4, and then all I did is I took that clip and I edited it in After Effects or whatever um, your you know, movie software is that you're uh, cutting clips. There's a ton of free ones out there. So do that. And what I did is I ended up with 
uh, this little clip, um, which is great. It's, um, I think, four seconds long. I know what it takes. I skipped stones with the world record holder. Boom. Yeah, and that was the one that I was using in, in uh, Blender to try and animate those, those frames there. I just had it kind of playing in the background while I animated over top of that. So with that done and with an account created, um, this is what it looks like when you first go into Deep Motion. I'm still on the free software. And uh, you just go into um, Animate Cloud and then Create Animation. You can see, you know, there's a bit of a dashboard here that tells you, you know, how much time you have each month. We've got 63 seconds. So you can see that this one animation that I got really only eats up four seconds. So conceivably, you know, um, you can get, uh, what is that? Um, five times, uh, let me think of the math, five times, <laughs> five times 16, is that right? No, that's 80 seconds. Five times 12, ah, there we go. Um, five, five times, you can get 12, um, you know, five second clips in there, um, uh, which is not bad for, for free. Um, you can test it all out, but even, you know, if you bumped up to 180 seconds or whatnot, you can get a decent amount of, of animations and you think about it, those animations would take you sort of hours to, to perfect. So um, to me, it seems pretty cool. Anyways, a little bit of a dashboard here. Um, it gives you some options for creating, um, you know, custom models to display your animation on. Um, you can see, can I get in this dashboard? Uh, oh, here in my library. Um, you can see here, this is where I've already uploaded it. Um, and I'm going to play the animation. Yeah, you can see my clip in the background, and then um, you can see their animation um, uh, done over top of it. It's pretty cool. You can download the animations in FBX format. Um, you can pick a couple of different sizes of, of poses, uh, which is pretty cool. And the whole process is quick. Like, uh, I'm not going to do it again um, to sort of eat up my seconds, but you know, you just go into create animation, you pick default, you upload your video file that we got off of YouTube and trimmed up there, that four second file. And then it just, it does it in a matter of minutes. And then you pull down, um, like I said, in the um, library section, you just go here and, and pull down your animation. Um, and then they have a whole process for, um, integrating it with um, Unreal Engine. I think they have a YouTube clip, actually. If I can find that. Um, that way I don't have to go through. I don't have to go through the um, whole process of demonstrating that to you. Uh, they did a fa the YouTube clip that I followed did a fantastic job of showing what you need to do to retarget. So I'm not going to redo all of that content when they've already done it um, well themselves. Uh, deep motion, um, deep motion here, Unreal Engine. Yeah, and so in this video, it's it's uh, ten. Whoops, it's ten minutes long, and um, she's easy to listen to, and she actually just walks you through um, the entire process of retargeting, uh, how to get it on the Unreal skeleton, and I'll just you know I'll show you again the. Um, the end result is I got it on the Unreal Mannequin and then I retargeted it over to uh, to this um, Kite Boy asset. Um, and again, there's what it looks like. So cool. I hope uh, I hope I made this video somewhat short. I hope I got under, you know, the 10 minute mark or even the five minute mark. Let's see where we we end up. But I thought this was a really cool one. Um, I hope you enjoy this tool. Hope you use it. Um, and I can't see why you wouldn't even even just to sort of prototype or get some uh, cool prototype animations um, works really, really well. Um, the other thing I'll just say, like to pump its tires a little bit too, is that, you know, I thought, one, I didn't think it was going to work well at all. Two, um, you do need to have a frame where uh, the whole body is in the image, but you'll notice that there's another body in frame and it didn't, um, it didn't fuss. Like I didn't do anything to this clip. I just left it as is and it got the animation from this. So I think that's super, super powerful. So anyways, um, you know, I'll, I'll just keep bringing you cool stuff that I find. Um, I've got a few other, I, I think, lighter, um, you know, I, I don't want to call it tutorials. I'm not really doing tutorials. I'm just showing you what I'm learning while I'm learning it. And we're kind of having a dialogue. Really appreciate the stuff you guys are doing in the comments. When I do something wrong, you let me know. And then we let the whole community know. And then I go and fix it. So anyways, um, just more content. Stick around. We'll see you.